Okay guys, the next game I have for you is a game called Knights and Squires. What you'll need for this game is as many half full noodles probably as you have. Um, we usually use about 30, 35 noodles, um, but we have a pretty large class size. What, um, and this is a really fun game, but there's some really important rules that you're going to have to reinforce and reinforce with the kids. It takes a couple times to play it, you may have to stop the game and repeat some rules. But once they get the rules and they're played by the rules, all the kids really seem to enjoy it. How it works is half the students are going to be knights and they're going to be standing up and they're going to have half a pool noodle. The other half of the students, the X's, are going to be sitting down on the ground crisscross and they're the squires. You're going to have to kind of explain what a squire is and what a knight is, how a squire studies underneath a knight. Um, so they're waiting for their turn to be a knight, basically. Whenever the game starts, I tell the kids, walk fast you cannot run all the squires remain seated crisscross applesauce and all the all the knights stand up with their pool noodle whenever you say go the knights are gonna are gonna walk around fast and they're gonna try to tag the knights from the waist down and this is the rule you're gonna have to repeat over and over and over because you're gonna have those kids that are gonna want to they're gonna want to sword fight and they're gonna want to hit each other in the face so you've got to you may have to stop the game two or three times to remind them waist down and that we're working on dodging. If you get tagged from the waist down, the knight is going to hand the pull noodle to the closest purse, closest squire that is sitting down. I tell the kids, you've got to have to repeat that rule too. The closest squire that's sitting down, you hand the pull noodle to because you'll have the kid, they'll get tagged here, and will run all the way over here to their best friend and hand them the pull noodle. And we don't want that. We want the closest child so that everybody gets a chance to play. Um, like I said, the more noodles, the more action, the less people sitting down, so I like that. Um, if you're more of want, wanting a little bit more control, you can give less noodles. Um, but like I said, um, we usually play this with third to fifth grade, and if you repeat the rules in enough times, the first couple times you play it, from then on the kids understand that, that we're walking fast, and we're tagging below the waist, and we're not sword fighting. That's not what we're working on here. Um, but this is Knights and Squires. And uh, once, oh, I forgot, once they get their pool noodle, the person that's sitting down, they become a squire and they sit down and they wait for their turn again. Um, basically, that's how Knights and Squires work. The kids really love it. I hope you like it too.